Have you just gone out and bought a new CPU and then realized you need a new motherboard? Now you've just realized you also need some new memory because DDR4 is not supported anymore and you need DDR5. Well, then you need to take a look at this from a pacer. It's the Nox memory, it's DDR5. This model goes up to 6,000 megahertz, but there are other speeds available. On the front of the box, it says Nox, which is the model name. You've got obviously the manufacturer's name as well. It's got a nice see-through window. You can see near enough the whole of the DDR5 memory in there. It says gaming memory module. Again, don't have to do gaming. You can be a creative person or even a standard home user and you just like the look of it. It doesn't seem to have any RGB or anything like that on it. So it looks like just a heatsink on the RAM. And then it tells you the speeds and the stats at the bottom left. The back of the box is multilingual, very little in English, does give you a few little bits of specifications we'll put in the screen above. Inside the box is not much, it's just this plastic casing, what the memory came in to protect it, otherwise no documentation, paperwork or anything like that. So let's have a look at the product itself. So as you can see here, it says DDR5, it says Nox, and then you've got a Pacer, which is the brand. Uh, you can see the pins on there, pretty standard. Um, same amount of pins you get in any other DDR5 memory. There's no RGB or diffusers or anything like that on there. If you're looking from the top, there's nothing really to see, to be honest. That's the angle which most people are gonna be seeing their memory at. So it's uh, ideal for a machine, which you're not too bothered about the way it looks. But again, it does have a nice effect on here. It's sort of like a, a splashed paint effect or is it supposed to be splashed blood or something I don't know uh, on there or some type of camo but it does have a, a fairly nice look to it but in all honesty you're going to be seeing that side of it there uh, on the other side exactly the same obviously you've got the specifications and so forth on that bit there obviously that's up to you if you want to read those or not but it's the same as what's on the box Okay, so we've got the memory inside the machine. We had no issues setting it up. We enabled XMP Profile 1, which was only one profile, uh, and that was 6,000 megahertz at cache rating of basically 40, and it picked up no problem at all, or at least in this board. We did try it in another board, and it didn't pick up automatically, uh, but we did update the BIOS then, and it did pick up. So if you are having issues getting the XMP Profile working correctly, try updating the BIOS. Obviously, make sure your motherboard does support memory running that high speed as well some chips may also not work very well with really high speeds memory so you may have to down clock it a little bit so just make sure uh, you've got everything you need and all the right things currently we're testing this we're going to put it we're doing a small test first and then we do a 48 hour test on it just to make sure that there's no problems we use what's called eurosoft pc check uefi uh, it's a proper program what computer technicians and stuff use not a free one off the internet you actually have to pay for it and it's basically what your system integrators like the big guys who build you systems they use to test the machines and stuff like that as well we give it a 48 hour test on this memory just to make sure everything's fine and if there's any issues obviously we'll let you know at the end of the video or post a little message at the top of the screen and we've got some decent stable high performance memory easy to use it's basically just plug in your motherboard set your XMP profile or the AMD equivalent and away you go. It's as simple as that. It did everything we wanted it to do. It passed our 48 hour stress test. Can't really complain to be honest. So if you're looking for some decent DDR5 memory, you may want to give this a try. I hope you enjoyed that review. I know I did. If you'd like to see other Pacer products we've reviewed, then click this box up here. Or you could click this box here and see other memory products we have reviewed. Otherwise, we will see you next time. But don't forget to like, subscribe and comment below.